Hey guys, this is Felix from Low Power Lab. Have you ever been frustrated with Arduino IDE's clunky UI and lack of user-friendly controls? Are you using lots of different boards for programming or testing and spend a lot of time having to click through menus to select a target board and target port? If so, stay tuned and I'll show you a small add-on that I've created that makes my life easier and hopefully yours too. If you have a lot of different boards to test, or if you're a board developer like me and need to switch between board types often, uh, you know that every time you plug in a new board, it may be a different board type and it will generate a new serial port. Now the Arduino IDE doesn't really do a great job in helping you with selecting board types or available serial ports, and the only indication of the current board and selected port are down here in the status bar or up here, of course, in the menus, and neither of those are too obvious. Uh, you have to go through these tools and board submenus, search your board, and then go back to the port submenu, change the port, and if you're in a hurry, you may make a wrong selection only to find out that you're getting compilers or upload errors, and then you're back in the menus trying to correct your error. Now let me give you an example. Let's plug in the Motino USB here. And other than that Windows sound, there's no indication in the Arduino IDE that something happened. So nothing changes in the status bar and I have to go through the menu and make sure I pick the right board, go back, choose a new port that was generated and then I'm ready for upload. And this repeats with every board that I plug in. So let's unplug that. Let's plug in this new board. This is a Motino Mega. And again, nothing apparent that a new board has been plugged in. I have to go through the menu, choose my Motino Mega, go back, make another selection for the port. And now hopefully everything's right and I'm ready to, to upload. A lot of clicking through the menus, a lot of options to get right and so on. So, to help me with that, I've created this. It's a shortcut bar to help with picking boards and ports. This top toolbar gives you the last five target boards that you've uh, picked from the menu. And this bottom bar shows you all the available serial ports. The selected board and selected port are highlighted in red and the serial port will update whenever you plug in a new board. So if we plug this in, a new button shows up for that new serial port, which we can then very conveniently just click on here and it's selected. So clicking a, a, a serial port here or choosing a board up here will also make the appropriate selection in the menus and will change the status bar as well. So everything's in sync. You can clear the boards toolbar by clicking this button and that will remove all the boards except the, the currently selected one and then you can add others. Go back in the menu and add your boards. Now I've made some changes to the preferences dialog and I've added these two new options here and if you enable these two checkboxes upon an IDE restart you'll see the toolbars show up. And also these settings are reflected in the preferences text file where you'll see that there's going to be new settings to remember uh, the booleans for enabling the toolbars and also a recent board setting that remembers all the recent boards in your toolbar. I won't go through the actual code changes but I'll link them down below along with instructions on how to build the IDE and uh, you can give this a try yourself. For Windows users I can also include a zip archive of this pre-built custom version. Hey, thanks for watching, I welcome feedback, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. We'll see you next time.